Rachel Notley is buoyed by the results of her recent weeks in the legislature. She actually said that. She said, and I quote, Really overall in the last few weeks and months, I've really been quite buoyed by some of the things we've been able to achieve and some of the feedback we've received. Good grief. How out of touch with reality does someone have to be to believe they should be uplifted and proud of what's going on in Alberta right now? I mean, let's talk about what's happening in Alberta right now that's so uplifting to Rachel Notley's spirits. We have 100,000 people unemployed. We are leading the country in new EI claims, seeing a 100% increase since last year. And Alberta is now suffering the social cost that comes along with a bad economy, like property crime increases, spiking food bank usage, and increased demand for homeless shelter services. We are seeing farmers and ranchers rally by the hundreds all across the province in opposition of the NDP's Farm Safety and Unionization Legislation, Bill 6. Farmers are filling town halls to capacity for a chance to voice their disagreement with Rachel Notley. Notley has even managed to activate the non-political and deeply pacifist Hutterites, 20,000 of them against her for isolating them in Bill 6. Stacks of emails and angry letters written by Albertans who are fed up with the NDP are being tabled by the opposition parties in the legislature. Our province is sitting in record levels of debt, upwards of $47 billion. And the NDP approval numbers are plummeting since September, down to 29% of decided voters trailing well behind the wild rose. But this sad state of affairs is uplifting. It's buoying to Rachel Notley's spirits like a rising tide. A rising tide of delusion. Rural Albertans and their allies are mad in a way I've never seen before. The right is finally talking about coming together and ending the vote split that led to this accidental government of incompetence. And Albertans will have to pay for Rachel Notley's refusal to curb her spending. Companies are fleeing the province's bad fiscal policies. And we haven't even gotten to the carbon tax, the coal phase out, and the royalty review yet. I guess this is uplifting to someone who wants to destroy Alberta as we know it and rebuild it in her own special way. But this is somehow depressing to normal people who will have to pay for the cost of Rachel Notley's schemes. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreid.